Amazon is the largest online retailer in the world, which makes them the largest shipper of goods in the world. Their reliance on ironclad logistics operations is crucial for their success. In 2014, Amazon spent $8.7 billion in shipping costs for $88 billion worth of products. Amazon realized that as the company's sales grew exponentially, so would shipping costs. And they were right. In 2018, those shipping costs grew to $27.7 billion on the $233 billion worth of products. In order for Amazon to cut down on their shipping expenses, they need to innovate their shipping operations. And that is why on November 1st, 2015, Amazon Prime Air was launched. Amazon owns the delivery service using Amazon branded aircraft. However, the fleet is operated by Air Transport International, ABX Air, Atlas Air, and Southern Air. These companies take care of the day-to-day -day operations of the air fleet from their pilots, planes, schedules, and maintenance. The service began in Seattle, where Amazon headquarters is based out of. Then it quickly spread throughout the United States. There are 21 airports that Amazon Prime Air operates out of as of 2019. Also, from the 20 planes they started with in 2015, they grew to 50 in 2019, with 25 more on order with Boeing. As of mid-2019, Amazon processes, ships, and delivers 26% of their online sales without the help of third-party companies, and that number is expected to grow as the Prime Air fleet grows. Amazon estimates that it saves around $2 to $4 per package at destination. If packages are handled by FedEx, UPS, USPS, it will cost around $9 per package. Morgan Stanley estimates that in 2019, Amazon will save around $1 to $2 billion in shipping costs by handling its own shipping. Prime Air keeps moving fast. Amazon will open a $1.5 billion air hub in Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport in 2021. It will have the capacity for 100 planes, double the number of its fleet now, and will plan to schedule 200 flight landings and departure each day. When Amazon started the highly attractive two-day shipping guarantee to Prime members, it grew its customer base by over 17%. This attracted a lot of eyeballs on how Amazon can meet that commitment and be profitable at the same time. A lot of people speculate that Amazon made a very favorable deal with the United States Postal Service, where they were paying below average rates. This leads people to believe that USPS was losing money because of it. Someone that has been very critical about this deal is President Trump. After President Trump's attack on Amazon's deal with the post office, Amazon felt more inclined to develop their own logistics network, more so they could rely on the post office less in the future. One huge hurdle that Amazon has encountered is that the USPS has a long reach over all the United States. The USPS handles the very remote homes where it would not be economically feasible for Amazon to have shipping infrastructure in. This is the main reason why Amazon relies so heavily on the USPS. Amazon wants to take more control of their supply chain management. That's why Amazon ordered 20,000 vans in 2018 and contract drivers to do the final step in the delivery system to land the package on the doorstep. Also to meet delivery deadlines, the company expanded the delivery service partner program, which offered current Amazon employees with $10,000 and three months salary to start their own logistics company and deliver Amazon packages. The partner program first announced last year includes access to Amazon's delivery technology, hands-on training, and a suite of other discounts and assets and services like vehicle leasing and insurance. To get a better understanding on how Amazon customers get their packages, it's important to explain every step in the Amazon supply chain management. Items eligible for prime shipping are kept in one of 185 fulfillment centers across the United States. Once the order comes in, employees pack the items into Amazon shipping boxes. The package is then put in a bin where it is loaded onto a semi-truck heading to the closest primary hub. 
the airplane will fly to one of 21 airports that Amazon Prime Air operates out of. Once the airplane lands, the bins are uploaded and packages are sorted by location. Then they are transferred to FedEx, UPS, USPS, or an Amazon partner for delivery to its final destination. In April 2019, Amazon announced that they were slashing delivery time in half for more than 10 million of their products. One day shipping was going to be made available to large cities and eventually spread down to smaller cities. This move is definitely going to put a strain on the shipping industry. In order for Amazon to meet this ambitious goal, Prime Air will need to grow. Amazon has began testing more advanced delivery methods like Scout Sidewalk Robots in Los Angeles and London is testing out a program called Shipping with Amazon. Sellers who have used the service say Amazon offers shipping rates at half the price of UPS. The most anticipated is the drone delivery. If you live within 10 to 20 miles of Amazon's fulfillment centers, they will be able to send a drone with your package as long as it weighs less than 5 pounds and will be on your door in less than an hour. The drone program, being in the works since 2015 when it was announced, has been a challenge for Amazon engineers to get everything right. Amazon says that they are close to having a working program. Amazon's future mission for Prime Air is not only extremely ambitious with plans to make deliveries even faster than today, but to do it 100% carbon free. Amazon launched a new initiative that wants its shipping to be done 100% carbon neutral. The initiative is called Shipment Zero, and their immediate goal is to lower the carbon footprint by 50% before the year 2030. Currently, their facilities are powered by solar and wind power, but only a portion of their energy consumption is complemented by renewable energy. In addition to the electricity consumption provided by conventional means, in regards to the actual shipping of the packages, the development of electric semi-trucks like Tesla's, and the use of biofuels and airplanes can help Amazon reach this goal. Amazon is a pioneer in the e-commerce industry, and they are revolutionizing the logistics industry as well. As society becomes more demanding, one day shipping is not going to be enough. We're going to want to have our purchased products in our hands within hours or minutes of us pressing the order button. Amazon knows this and will come up with new ways to improve their delivery times and what method they use to do so. The sky's the limit for Amazon, literally. What do you think of Amazon's logistics system? What method of delivery do you think Amazon should look into to improve their delivery times? Do you think that they will take the place of the post office? Post your comments in the comment box below if you like this video. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe so that you can watch more content like this in the future. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Informed Society, and as always, stay informed.